Hey, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my first soak on this pair of Brave Star 13 ounce Cone Mills denim uh, that I picked up in their mystery pack sale. Oh, man, I think March or April. I can't even remember when I purchased these, but uh, if you check up there in the bubble up above, uh, the video for when I first got these is there and I, I think I give the date then. Uh, anyway, I've worn these 75 times. And other pairs I've done, 50 pair first soak, 100 pair first soak, and here's 75. I kind of want to see you know, what it does when you do it at, at different phases or different uh, levels of wear. So let's kind of zoom in a little bit and take a look at the denim itself. Uh, this time with this pair, I made a kind of a point to not really care how dirty I got these. I mean, I'm not like a sloppy person, but... You know, I wasn't like really gentle or I wasn't concerned if I was playing with my kids and they spilled stuff on it. Um, so, you know, I just wore these like regular denim. So if you're looking here, uh, you can see like, you know, the knee fades. I give a lot of horse rides to my kids uh, in these jeans. Uh, laugh if you want, but if you're a parent, you get it. Uh, the cuffs, you know, like my other pair, uh, they're cuffed. As you can see here, they're already starting to fray quite a bit. Uh, like I said, this is at 75 wears. So I'm glad I didn't go for a hundred. Uh, we'll look at this cuff over here. This one's doing a little better. Who knows, maybe that leg over there is longer or shorter. Uh, anyway, so yeah, same thing. Kind of just going over, seeing what it looks like. Uh, I'm pulling out of the light a little bit. You can see the whiskering uh, really starting there. Uh, it's looking really good. And we'll flip these over. Uh, heads up, Penny, look at that. Good luck. All right, and we'll just go from the back again. Let's go up above, go a little high level here. Uh, as you can see, it's got this uh, honeycomb, or whatever, whatever they call that, man. You guys know the term. Uh, and the back, the back of the legs, the knees uh, coming down. You got you know your standard stuff. The wallet fade, like always. The patch on these has you know patina really well for 75 wears. Uh, the pair I'm wearing right now, I've worn about. 65 or 70 times uh, I washed I soaked them at 50 and the patch looks nothing like this one. So that's nice uh, You know got some food stuff on there wore these to Christmas Day dinner Ate a ton of food and cheesecake uh, Shout out to my friends bakery in South Philly Varallo brothers for hooking it up with an awesome cheesecake and pastries So yeah, I mean that's that what we're gonna do now just I'm going to take these jeans and I'm going to get the tub ready. I'm just going to do warm water. I'm not going to do cold. I'm not going to do hot. I'm going to soak them in there for a couple hours. I'll show you how I get them in there. It's going to be the same process as other videos, but we'll go through it again. And then we'll get them out to dry. Probably let them dry overnight and I'll throw them on and show you how they fit, how they look after their first soak. All right, so stick around. Okay, so here we are. We got the tub going. Uh, it's already full. As you can see, there's some suds in there. That is, I just put a small amount of detergent in there. Um, odorless, scentless, uh, whatever stuff that I use to wash my clothes. Uh, and all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw these in here, like I said, for a couple hours, let them soak. And then once that, once that is finished, I'm gonna drain all the water out and I'm gonna refill it uh, with fresh water and I'm gonna agitate these again to get all the soap off. Let them soak for a little bit and then drain that uh, because otherwise you're going to have some funny feeling uh, denim if you don't get the soap off of there. Also, to anyone who's watched my uh, videos in the past, brand new tub, people. All right, got a new house. This is brand new. Uh, you don't have to see that awful tub. I have done a couple of other videos in. Uh, sorry that you had to endure that, and thank you for enduring it. So all we're going to do, same as before, all right, we just throw them in here. And I'm not going inside out because there are some spots on here that need to be cleaned. All right, so what I'm going to do is get them wet. There's a spot, there was a spot back here that needs to come off. Uh, what I'm going to do is just agitate these for a few moments. Move them around. Remember everyone, this is denim, okay? Like, I know it's raw denim and there's a process, but it's also denim. People have been wearing this for a long time. And the dudes that wore this back in the day, this heavyweight denim, definitely didn't treat it like this, all right? So agitate it if you got dirt on there. Get them, get it moving around. And then just throw some weights on top. I usually use the shampoo conditioner bottles. Um, my wife's bubble bath. Sometimes put that up there. 
And that's just gonna hold your jeans in place while they soak so that you get equal, you get equal coverage. Cup of water works if you don't have any uh, bottles. All right, just improvise. Um, and that's that. Like I said, we're gonna let this sit here for a couple hours. I'll come back, we'll drain it out, and we'll fill it back up with clean water, fresh water, and we'll drain and we'll let them soak again, and we'll get that out of there. And we'll see how it looks, all right? Stick around. Oh, okay, so as you can see in that time lapse, uh, the water was pretty nasty. Like I said, 75 wears, regular life. Uh, not acting like some of these guys you see wearing raw denim that, uh, that treat them like some kind of precious cargo. You know, just wear them, get them dirty. So like I said, I had warm water. They've been in there about two hours. You can see I drained it. I filled it back up with cold water, agitated the jeans quite a bit as I was doing that to try to get that detergent out of there. I'm going to let them soak for probably about 15 more minutes, just kind of get all the soap out of there. And once I do that, we'll throw them on an old towel, roll them up, dry them up, dry them out uh, as much as we can, and then hang them up to dry. So we'll be back. Okay, so you can see all the water drained out of the tub. And what I'm doing now is just shaking out the last bit of water over the tub right now. Before I do this... All right, you just get an old towel because you might get some bleed out from your denim and you don't want to stain a good towel with a bunch of blue indigo. It doesn't go over well. All right, so then what you do, just get them situated on here. If you haven't seen me do this before, we'll do it again. All right, and I just roll them up from the top down like this. And as I roll, Press down nice and firm. As you can see, the towel's getting damp, getting wet as I do this. All right, so I just roll it up like that. All right. And then, as you can see, I just squeeze it really well. All right, and then you just unroll it back out. And then I just take them, and as you can see, all right, there's some blue, definitely some blue indigo on here. Most of this will come out, uh, but that's why I say use, use an old towel. All right, so you just take them. I'm gonna hang them up over my shower curtain. I'll show you that. I'm gonna let them dry. So yeah, I mean nothing, nothing fancy, nothing earth shattering or groundbreaking, people. All right, you just, you just hang up that denim. Any way you want, let it dry. Uh, the heat, there's a vent right above here, so these might actually dry a lot faster. And as soon as I get them dried off, uh, what I'll do, there's still some dirt trap there. I need to brush those off better next time. Uh, as soon as these dry off, I'll throw them on. We'll do a quick uh, walkthrough of how they look, how they fit after a wash, and that's it. Thanks for tuning in, I'll be back in a minute.
right, put the denim on. I got my Air Max 90s on. I am ready to do the 360 and show everyone how it looks. Uh, you know, the fades are coming in nice. They're not gonna be as pronounced as the pair that I've worn 300 times or some of the other pairs, but they're off to a good start. Uh, the jeans are nice, they fit really well. They're not restrictive. They fit like I want them to. Um, so let's just take a look. And also uh, the color, uh, the indigo ran out a lot better than I thought it would. When I, when I was drying these, I thought they were gonna look really streaky for some reason, but I think that was the LED lights in my bathroom. Uh, under a natural light, an overhead light, and just a ring light, I think these look really good. Look around, see how they fit. You know, the patch is coming in nice. Um, got some fades coming in there. Uh, overall, really satisfied. Remember, this was the mystery pick. What was this, like 70 some dollars, $68 on Brave Star's site. Um, you pick them, they sent you a certain weight and a certain uh, a denim they use. I think this was Cone Mills. And yeah, I mean, for $68 or $72, whatever that was, I'm pretty satisfied. So we'll take another look. Let me spin around. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I know it's hard finding Brave Star products, so if you're looking for other raw denim, let me know. If you have other suggestions for our viewers, uh, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers I get, the more of these raw denim videos I can do, all right? Uh, maybe one day we'll get enough subscribers and some companies will send me something for a collaboration. We'll get that jumping off. All right. Uh, talk to you guys later. Hope everyone's doing well. Peace.